And happening today, the future of Legacy Parkway may come down to a meeting scheduled for tonight. As of right now, semi-trucks will begin using the highway at the beginning of the year. And that's why the leaders are meeting to find an alternative. ABC 4's Jason Wynn is live and bountiful on Legacy Parkway. So Jason, what do people hope to get out of tonight's meeting? Well, good morning, Brian. They want to make sure the Legacy Parkway is free of semi-trucks. Take a look at this online petition that was signed by over 1,200 people stating just that. Now, Save Legacy Parkway Citizens Committee will be meeting with local and state officials to find another way to stop semis and other large vehicles from using the freeway in 2020. A pair of bills failed to get out of their respective committees during the 2019 legislation session that would keep the truck ban in place next year. Now, Legacy Parkway, it stretches for 11.5 miles along the Great Salt Lake wetlands, and it is considered a scenic byway. Residents we spoke with have split feelings on lifting this ban. I think it would destroy pretty much all of the wildlife, the environment. I mean, I believe that the environment is crucial the way we have it now, and I think it's going to destroy it if we allow truckers. Now, there was another resident that said that they don't think that it is necessary for all the traffic to be on I-15. The trucks are going to have some place to go, and this person lives in Farmington, and they say that it's uh, positive for folks that live on that side of the highway if trucks come over here to Legacy. Now, here's what you need to know if you want to try to save Legacy Parkway from the trucks. A public meeting will be held at Foxborough Elementary tonight at 7 in North Salt Lake. Save Legacy Parkway citizens hopes that everyone will be able to go to that meeting so that they can get a final solution on what to do with Legacy Parkway. I'm Jason Wynn in Bountiful, ABC4 News. All right, thank you.